Oh, okay. I also wanted to thank Steve M., our editor, for giving me this opportunity and the entire LPR staff for all their support and hard work. Our readers had to sift through a voluminous amount of submissions to find these gems. Our production staff worked tirelessly over the holiday season on the editing and layout, and our marketing crew did a fantastic job promoting this issue on our website and social media. This issue, as I say in the editor's note, has an organic theme of caring. And I want to thank all of you for caring about the arts and our world as they are inextricably linked. I especially want to thank all of our contributors for caring and for sharing their art with us. We are very lucky to have 10 of them with us today. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce the first three. And after they've presented, I'll introduce the next group and so forth. Ben Critchy, our featured photographer, was raised in suburban Baltimore. His, his experience was that of introversion and alienation from the values of 1980s America. He found sanctuary in art and individual expression. This was fostered by teachers at Catonsville High School who were strong advocates of the visual arts and poetry. These formative years still resonate in his life today. His medium was from the beginning analog utilitarian films, papers, and chemicals for proletarian subjects and landscapes. The analog remains in his process now, just for the first steps. He shoots the film and processes it by hand. The rest is film scanning, Photoshop, and making prints in a large format printer. He has traveled and lived in far off places, but considers the streets and people of Baltimore the most generous and beautiful of anywhere he's been. Allison Mosquera du Temple is a writer from New Jersey with an MFA from Warren Wilson College. She has been nominated for a Pushcart Prize and long listed for PRISM International's Grouse Grind Prize for very short forms. Her work has appeared or is forthcoming in Pithead Chapel, Flock, Construction, Pigeon Pages, Fiction Writers Review, Emory's Journal Online, and elsewhere. She's a fiction reader for Craft Literary and on Twitter, at Swell Spoken. Oops, had that on the wrong page there. Susan Oakey is a poet, physician, and former Washington Post medical reporter. She received her MFA in poetry from Warren Wilson College as well in 2014. Her chapbook, Let You Fly, was a finalist in Finishing Line Press's New Women's Voices Contest and was published in 2018. Her work has appeared in the Gettysburg Review, Bellevue, Literary Review, Prairie Schooner, and elsewhere. She lives in Bethesda, Maryland. Okay, so Ben? Okay, cool. 